company. Officials of the Taraba State Command of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency and the Taraba State Government are partnering with civil society organizations in this advocacy on substance abuse and mental health. The idea is to identify victims of drug and substance abuse for rehabilitation and recovery. We are committed to providing comprehensive support through counseling, rehabilitation, mentorship, and skills training. By fostering positive mental health, raising awareness about the dangers of drug abuse, and empowering individuals through economic opportunities, we aim to eradicate poverty and reintegrate them into society, as well as self-reliant and productive members of the community. The NDLEA is evolving different strategies to tackle the menace, especially at the grassroots. Everything about WADA is war against drug abuse, fighting the war from the grassroots. And in this, NDLEA alone cannot fight this war alone. So we have to liaise with other agencies, other NGO institutions to help in the war against drug abuse. As an individual, you are a stakeholder. NGO is a stakeholder that we are all liaising to help in this war against drug abuse in order to help and keep our country a drug-free nation. To complement the efforts of the NDLEA, the Taraba State Government believes the free education policy will play a pivotal role in addressing the challenge of out-of-school children and subsequently reduce the exposure of children to substance abuse. We should try to inculcate, I mean, I like include... Uh, um, drug abuse or drugs generally as topics that should be taught, you know, in schools from primary school upward, because that is part of the thing that because once once students or once children are able to understand the implications of drug abuse. Many of them will stay away from it. The advocacy here is that the collaboration should be increased to address the supply chain and enforce the necessary laws to curb substance abuse in the state.